All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Galarian Cursula here, and we're going to combine it with the good old Hitmonchan's because why not? Uh, Hitmonchan is okay right now. There actually is quite a few good lightning decks right now that are out. Obviously, stuff like Bolton, Toxtricity, Pikaram. So you have a good type advantage, and we can go into Galarian Cursula now as a good wall. So Galarian Cursula has the ability to perish body, where if it's your active end is knocked out by damage from the bone stack, unfortunately... Stuff like Lucephalon and Dragapult's uh, other attack effect can go through this, which is kind of frustrating, but if they just damage and knock you out, you flip a coin of heads, that a Pokemon is also knocked out. So if, for example, Azacian does Brave Blade against you, and then you get heads, they get knocked out too, which is really good. So that's going to be the whole combo of this deck. We're just going to be trying to wall with Cursula, and if they attack me, they get knocked out. That's the whole idea of this deck. And we're using the Hitmon Chance because they have the ability to have good typing right now. So, yeah, before we get into the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Gargam and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCG or pack codes, guys, if you guys are still trying to get Rebel Clash codes, get them over at Gargam and TCG. Of course, guys, if you are looking for Rebel Clash, of course, you can get them singly, lots of 50. Uh, they also have the theme deck codes in stock for Rebel Clash and the pre release kit codes also in stock over at Card Cavern TCG. And if you guys have any uh, codes or cards in bulk you want to get rid of and you don't want to use, uh, you can give them the Card Cavern TCG for some cash or in store credit. Um, and if you get anything from Card Cavern, guys, make sure you use my discount code code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase, guys. Support the channel, help yourself out, and support Card Cavern TCG too. So shout out to Card and the sponsor, check them out, and uh, use code LDF. Let's take a look at this list here. So we're playing another Hitmonchan deck. Uh, it's, it's a fun deck to play. A Hitmonchan is kind of fun. Um, I will say that Hitmonchan, I, am, I feel like I'm cursed with it because I do tend to brick a lot with this deck despite usually playing more than like 10 supporters with an Eldegoss now. I do tend to brick a lot with Hitmonchan, um, but it's still fun to play. And again, you actually have a lot of good typing. You have the fighting advantage against Pika, Bolton, Toxtricity, even Dark Box is starting to uh, see a little bit more play now. So you have a good type right now. And again, you have this new partner with Cursula. Now there's many ways to play Cursula. You can play it by itself. You can play with more Peko. You can play with Sazbuck, which we'll definitely look at some more decks with Galarian Cursula down the road. For sure, guys, if you guys want to see any more, just let me know. And yeah, definitely we'll cover more of this. This is a fun card to play. The ability is hilarious. Now it can be very easily countered by stuff like Fion. Um, if there's a Fion in the deck, you have to get two of these in play. It can get countered easily just by Boss's Order, which is kind of unfortunate. It can also get countered very easily by Customs and Pokemon Catchers. Um, but if they have no way to counter it, this thing can be very pesky. Um, so we got all the usual Hitmonchan stuff. I'm actually playing this Hitmonchan with coordinated beatdown because with like a couple boosters, this thing can actually knock out Jirachis and stuff like that, uh, which is really good. I got the Hitmon Lees and the Hitmon Tops, of course. Both of them are really useful. Hitmon Lee can knock out Jirachis and Zig Zagoons on the bench, and Hitmon Top can do a lot of spread. But most, for the most part, though, you're just usually doing hit run into a Cursla. I am still playing Gumi. Uh, this is good against ADP and also potentially even Dragapult. Just making them have that extra energy is really, really strong. Of course, we have Diancy. Uh, one Eldegoss for an extra supporter out, and it can't really be Great Catcher or anything, so it's like it's usually safe. And then I got a Fion for the combination with Hitmon Lee and stuff. So that's why the Fion's in the deck. Yeah, there's no Baby Buzzle in here. I've decided not to play Sledgehammer, by the way. Um, we go into the items now. I'm playing a Lana's Rod and an Ordinary Rod. The Both rods are good. We can get back an Air Balloon or a Vitality Band, and then the Ordinary Rod gets back Energy. I am playing 10 Energy. Um, I got three comms along with four Quick Balls. I do maybe want to consider playing more Search Options. Possibly putting in a couple Great Balls or even Evolution Incense wouldn't be bad either, so I can definitely see that put, being put in here. I got two Switch to be able to Switch if we ever need it. Three Air Balloons. Corsola does have a two Retreat, which is really good. Uh, I got a Tool Scrapper. Staying rid of stuff like Frying Pan and Spell Tag can be really useful for trying to, you know, get those off the board. Especially like stuff like Frying Pan where we can do extra damage with Hit and Run. I am playing three Dojos. It's a really good card in here. I would maybe even bump this up to four Dojos. Just that 10 more damage with Hitmonchan is really good. Alongside Vitality Band, the amount of damage boosters you have right now for Hitmonchan is actually really good. And with the uh, Dynasty Vitality Band Hit and Run uh, and a Dojo, you're not going to have Jirachis. I got two bosses order. I am playing a lot of supporters. Again, I do tend to brick a lot with him on Chan, so I tend to play a bunch of draw supporters. So I am just going for Cynthia, one Erica, four research, alongside one Eldegoss. So we do have a lot of supporters. I am playing two boss order. Boss order, the reason I'm playing two, obviously it is boss order. You can use this to use him on Chan, knock out to Dene's, but you can also use boss order with him on Lee. Um, but I don't know if you really need two, to be honest with you, uh, looking back. And I am playing 10 energy. I know it's a lot of energy to play. Um, I just don't like whiff energy. Not to mention, you can still use energy to like manually retreat if you really have to. Um, so, yeah, you can cut down energy. I can definitely see 9 being in here instead of 10. Uh, this is the list I got for my Hitmonchan Cursula deck. Let's go see if we can troll some people and get some KOs with Cursula. Let's see if Parish Body is going to be on my side today. Let's find out. 
All right, guys, let's get into our first match with our deck here. We're up against Plume with a deck that does have lightning in it, which usually is a good sign, though this might not be a lightning deck. We'll see. We do go first. I'm actually going to go second because we can attack first, and that seems pretty good to me. We get a nice turn one Hitmon off. Okay, we do get the Hitmon start. We also got the Galarian Corsola, which is good because we need that. Bit of a doozy of a hand. We have to research away some important Pokemon. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess, though. So. We'll see if they're playing here. Playing a Zacian deck. Now, this could be ADP Zacian, or it could be Zacian Jirachi. We'll have to find out which one it is. Okay, it's probably, it's probably Zacian Jirachi. Now I'm more, like, regretting I made them go first, because... They, I get that turn one Intrepid Sword energy attachment off, which is not ideal. Yeah, so it is going to be the Jirachi build, it looks like. Which I'm pretty sure you can't play... You can't play... Can you play three Jirachis and then one Jirachi Prism, or can you play four? Alright. They don't get energy down. That's actually pretty good. Uh, they don't have energy in the discard. Okay, there's a Quick Ball. That's actually pretty good for a top deck. That can give us a wall to go into here. I think it's gonna be it's gonna have to be Gumi. We are gonna research. We're gonna lose a few stuff. It's fine, we got the rods for it. And ooh, look at that. We got Diancy and this. I think we're short on the knockout. I think we needed the dojo. Yeah, we needed the dojo to finish this guy off, which just kind of feels bad, man. But we can always hit him on top, knock it out if we ever get to that point. And we'll see if Gumi can come in clutch. There's no way he's gonna attack with the Zacian here. He would need well, I mean his hand is big enough to maybe pull off a combo where the Zacian can attack me because he whipped the energy. Not the first Intrepid Sword. I'm feeling pretty safe. All right, there's a switch. Hopefully he doesn't switch, because I actually wouldn't mind putting 90 damage on this thing. But to be fair, the way we can knock it out also is through Galarian Corsola. <laughs> it is an ADP deck. Or for God's sakes. It is an ADP Zacian deck. Uh, of course it is. Of course it is. Well, we do have Gumi, so that's good. Bro, I, I literally don't understand why people still play this deck, dude. It's so boring. Stupid. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. There's all these new cards that came out, and people still think ADP Zacian is fun to play. I will never understand. So, I mean... I probably want to Hitmon lead this if I can. Though, to be fair, we also maybe want to just keep swinging with Hitmonchan. I do want to go Hitmon top at some point. But at the same time, we do have Galarian... We have the Galarian Cursula here, which can help us against ADP. It's like they, they ultimate ray me, they potentially get knocked out. So maybe we have to play risky. But again, the problem with ADP is they might be playing like 80 gusting cards, and there's one of them. They're actually going to knock out the Hitmon Chan, which is kind of interesting. I'm surprised they're knocking out the Hitmon Chan now. There's a boss order gone, though, which means they can't be able to get it back for my Galarian Corsola. I just hope they're not playing a bunch of gusts. That's always a concern with this annoying deck. Uh, let's see, we top deck here. Ooh, that was a good top deck. So we can go into another Hitmonchan here. We could also go Hitmon Lee. I think we just go Hitmonchan. We're actually down a Hitmonchan, though. That's not good. <laughs> so we need to get him back. Uh, see if we get a Dojo here. That would be really good. No, we didn't get a Dojo, unfortunately. We did whiff it. That actually kind of sucks, not going to lie. Um, I think we just bring in the Cursula here. Well, actually, no. This gives him a turn to do set up Alter Creation. I think we should just go Gumi, right? Play it safe, go Gumi. Or should we just go the Cursla? Let's just go the Cursla route. He won't be attacking me again, though. That's the like problem. He might have another boss's order and a switch in his hand. Should be kind of annoying. Oh, scoop up next to Jirachi. Well, there goes our out to knock it out with him on top. Unless we boss's order it and get a dojo down. Um, yeah, knocking the dojo there does suck. I really wanted to get damage on that. I'm driving that scoop up net. He's not going to be attacking me this turn. He did have the switch. Yo, this guy has a switch, another switching card, and a freaking boss's order in his hand. I'm done. Like, I'm actually done. ADP Zacian, bro. We should have went to the Gumi because he's going to probably pull off an alteration here because he got the E-Switch. I was considering that. When I was going to go into the Gumi, I was like, okay, well, he might have E-Switch. Bruh, he had the scoop up. This guy seriously had the boss's order. Okay, good. All right, let's see if he gets knocked out here by our ability. Come on, click out of the discard pile. What are you doing? A suck it. Okay, that is really good. That's really, really good. All right, Cursula doing its numbers. There's another one. We're actually down two of them. 
All right, this is actually pretty good. And we can go into the Gumi to prevent it from alter creation. I mean, that's okay. This is actually really good for us. Um, that was pretty satisfying. I that was very very satisfying actually because boy oh boy, ADP station should not be a deck. Uh, I'm gonna put energy on the Gumi just to play it, just so I don't draw it. Okay, we, we want to get a Dojo here to knock this Jirachi out. Still only get a Dojo, unfortunately. We did get a Lana's Fishing Rod, uh, which we can play here to get back a Cursula. Yeah, knocking the Dojo is really annoying. It'd be really nice to knock this guy out. So it sucks we didn't get it. It is what it is. I don't know where it's hiding, but we can go into the Gumi to prevent him from doing an Alter Creation this turn, unless he has a uh, Boss Order or a Fion. All right, so now our wing condition is looking a lot easier. Knock out Drachi, knock out ADP. The problem is we can't knock out the Drachi because we can't find the Dojo to do the extra damage, which is kind of frustrating. Um, you just need the Dojo to do that 10 bit of damage, but we can't find it. But what we can do is do Hitmonlee on the ADP, or we can rely on our Curse Law. I don't know. He's actually going to Marnie me, which is fine. That I, It's actually good. We're not going to lose the research. There's an air balloon. We didn't get a supporter though, or a dojo. So if this guy scoop up nets and switches back into it, he's gonna be in the clear. Let's see what he does. Just gonna skateboard. So he can go into the ADP. Uh, there's a chance he plays Fion, but probably not. I don't really think he does play Fion. Like, he would he have room for? Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, he's gonna Zacian, Trepid Sword for three here. We need to get a supporter too. We've played a couple. Played a couple. So we want to go Hitmon Lee, or do we want to just keep going Hitmon Chan? Hitmon Chan can knock him out. We can keep going to the Gumi. I think we just still do that, honestly. I don't really see anything wrong with that. Eldegoss, unfortunately, is in the discard. I wish I got it back right now. Uh, we can get our own Fion. I think I'm just going to take another Cursula here. I'm just going to hit and run. Actually, we probably could play Viridian, too. It's fine, though. Let's just go into the Gumi. Take our prize. Oh, there's a dojo. Maybe they were all prized. Who knows? I wasn't really checking the deck. But we do have the we have the we do have the dojo. We can put that into play. We can do more damage. We need to get a Galarian Cursula though, ASAP. We've played a lot of supporters. We need to get one though if we want to win this, because we need to be able to have that ability knock out ADP. Orization. How many metal saucers have they played? Only two? Okay. That's not a lot. Alright, what do we draw? That is not a Cursula. That really sucks. That is not a Kursla on my watch. I think I'm just going to take the KO on the Jirachi with Hitmonlee. This might come to a sudden death, unfortunately. We couldn't find the Kursla here to round out the rest of this match. Yeah, still no supporter. Hitmonchan! Brick City! Brick City! Yeah, we're probably going to lose this. That altercation just puts us on the clock. There's nothing I can really do to win this at this point, I don't think the only way I can win is if we can get a Kursla down this turn that's the only way I can win if I get Kursla and he doesn't um, have a gusting card can we get a Kursla <laughs> we don't yeah lovely well we almost beat ADP Zacian with the Hitmonchan deck that is something that I never really would be able to say until now thanks to the Kursla so I'll take it alright guys let's get into another game here with our deck we're playing against a grass lightning deck which could just be a Rillaboom deck, which is kind of hard to beat, but I don't know. He's got the Zero Aura coin in deck box. This actually could be a... This could be a Lightning deck, which is best case scenario for us because we are playing a fighting deck. Unfortunately, our opening hand is complete trash. Uh, we're just going to start with this, I think. All right, let's see what he's playing. Okay, it is a Lightning deck. All right, this is good. This is a good matchup for us. But, unfortunately, our hand's not looking good, so we might just lose in a couple turns if we're not careful. Unless we get Marnied here, which will hopefully be the case. So, yeah, it's going to be a Bolton deck, which I think we can beat. Uh, maybe we can one-shot Bolton, too, if we're ever down in prizes. I, we might be able to get there. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, my point starts looking really good. They already got two energy in the discard with a Coco Prism. That's looking pretty scary, not going to lie. And we're stuck with a lone hit on top. That sucks. We hit a good matchup and we had to get a bad starting hand. That is just so lovely though, not gonna lie. I don't know what it is with him on Chan. Every time I try to play it, bro, I always get bad hands with it. I don't get it. I'm not trying to complain, but bro. Him on Chan, like, 
No pun intended. I think I have a Hitmonchan curse because I can never play it. Okay, we drew a supporter. Not really one I wanted to get because we are losing a lot of energy, but if it gets us into a better hand, I'll take it. I don't really care. I'll take it. Let's right, go to research. Can we get a switch? We do what the thing? What are these hands, bro? What? Oh my gosh. What on earth is this hand? See what I mean, dude? Oh, looks like we actually prized Dionce. That sucks. That just sucks quite a bit. I guess we do have Eldegoss to help us out for next turn. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Ah, right, we're just gonna let him knock out the Hitmon top. I'm just gonna save the hand to see. Well, you never know what we might draw. If we draw a Pokemon, we can make the most out of this hand, I think. So, we'll see. We'll just pass and just let my opponent do their thing. I hope they knock out my Hitmon top here, just so I can go into the Hitmon Chan. We can get the research. What we'll the bench Eldegoss? Not a fan of that because it, it's a big boss order target. But this game does not want to give me a good hand. So there you go, Hitmonchan. It's an interesting archetype. Told you I'm cursed, bro. I told you I'm cursed with this deck. All right, they're gonna knock me out. Looks like they don't have any other supporter, which is good. Um, and we do have Dojo activated for us, so hopefully we can find it here. Okay, there's the Cursula. That's good. So we can do a few things. We can quick ball for probably a second Hitmonchan just to make sure I have two in play. Yeah, we can make the most here. We'll have to get Eldegoss, unfortunately. Um, it's weak to fire, not lightning, though, which makes it kind of decent, I guess. I don't know. All right. Here we go. Research. Thank God for this card, because that would have been a bad hand if I didn't have it. What are we looking at here? There's the dojo. There's another uh, little curse boy. Let's get that dojo down. And let's hit and run here. We're going to hit them pretty hard. Not a knockout because we don't have all the boosters. But we are going to be able to go into the Cursla. And they're going to be faced with a task. They have a three-card hand. In that three-card hand, what are the chances they have a boss's order? We'll find out. Or a Dedenne. They need to get a better hand. I mean, I hope they get a better hand. I hope they stay in the game. I hope this game isn't like two minutes long. I hope this isn't very short. Because I know my opponent's not playing against the best of matchups. But I want this game to actually play out. I would hate for tender early. All right, come on. Do they have a supporter? Do they have a supporter? That's the best bet might be maybe able to go into the Raichu or something. I don't know. They need something like could maybe wall a hit. Okay, they're going to go Bullstorm. All right, let's see. Will we get the knockout? We do. That is good. So we get a nice hit on something here. That is really fun. Cursula making its rounds, knocking out a Pokemon there. There's our Diancie. All right, this is really good. Uh, we're not behind in prizes, though, so we're not going to be able to do a lot of damage as what we could do, but it is what it is. Cursula got a knockout. That's two. We're two for two on the Cursula KOs this video. That's pretty good, actually. Um, let's put another one down. We're just going to go Cynthia here. Can we get another Cursula? We don't. That's fine. We can just go for hit and run. What would we bring in, though? I guess we just bring in one of these. It's fine. It's actually likely my opponent doesn't even get a knockout. They need to get an energy, so maybe they don't have a knockout here. Who knows? Who knows? I have 300. I guess they could go. They can go full voltage. It doesn't matter how much energy they put into play, though, obviously. So. It is what it is. I mean, I would hate to lose another Curse Slug because we didn't get the Galarian Curse Slug. Maybe we could put a Evolution Incense or Great Ball in this deck. That could be a decent option to put in here, too. Just to have more outs to find in your Cursula. Ooh, that Shuckle's really good. So that's an easy Hitmon top, Hitmon chant, or Hitmon lead target. So that's actually not bad. So it looks like they might go for full voltage, but at that point, they probably just lose because then they're going to go down to... They're going to go down to a two prize. I'll go down to two prizes. So I, I would not advise doing full voltage. I think they would be better off just attacking me here if they can, like with a Thunder Mount or something, but we have the other Dojo. I mean, we have a perfect counter to them right now. And the Cursula is doing its job, so... I can't complain. We might be up against a good matchup, but our Galarian Cursula has actually been working, which is kind of surprising, to be honest. Looks like they're going to go Raichu. Do they have a Thunder Mountain? They do. Do they have a supporter? That's the question. They don't. I don't know how they haven't found a Dedenne yet or anything. I'll take it, though. Let's right, see what we draw. Air Balloon. All right, put that there. We can put that down. We can quick ball away a Hitmonchan just to thin the deck out. We can get, we can get Gumi here. Actually, no, we should probably get, just keep getting these Cursulas down. Wish I could play this Tool Scrapper, but let's go for Cynthia. Let's try to get that Cursula. No, we didn't get it. We get the Vitality Band, though. 
Maybe just hit him. Actually, I should have touched energy. Maybe did one of these hitmon changes. 200 damage. Look at that. We'll just give him this guy. Unfortunately, we have no Galarian Cursula. That's fine, though. My opponent can knock me out with Tandem Shock. They have an energy. Second zero. So they can't bench Dedenne now. So I don't know if they played Dedenne or not, but they have not been able to find a Dedenne here. But we haven't been able to find a Cursula, though. So to be fair, we've also been kind of short on what we're looking for, I guess, too. I don't even know they have an energy. They didn't get rid of a lot of energy there with uh, Zero Aura. Like, they got rid of four energy, I think. So, like, I guess they didn't have another energy to get rid of a fifth. Okay, they do have energy. And they're going to go Bolt Hunt, which is fair play. I mean, this is not good. We definitely need to get a supporter very quickly. Or not a supporter. We need to get a curse let down. Or a boss's order. Something to defeat this. Well, I guess we actually could go Hitmonlee here. We do have them. Hey, that was a good top deck. All right, we're going to try to get the Hitmonlee here. We are going to lose more energy, which means we might not even get an energy with the Hitmonlee. There's an Ornery Rod, though. We're going to play that right away. We're going to get back. Curse, curse. And two energies, which we desperately need the energy. Yeah, no Hitmonlee kind of sucks. We can go into the Cursla, though. I think we're behind in prizes, actually. We are. So we actually knocked them out. I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is really good. And let's see what happens here. Two prizes. Nice. Nice. So all we got to do is get Hitmonlee or Hitmon top off or something and we win the game. Because we knock out the Raichu or the Zeraora. So. This game is looking like it's about wrapped up here. Let's see if my opponent can do anything about it. Well, they could. They could have an energy boss's order knock out Eldegoss with... Uh, well, they need, them and they need Electro Power to do that. But we are out of Switch, right? We have one left. We have a boss order in our hand, actually. So we just win here. Unless Cursula's ability does give us a knockout. We'll find out, though. But it looks like it will be game here. Dude, this... That Vitality Ban knockout... Oh, man. Vitality Ban, what a what a card. It's so good in Hitmonchan. That 10 damage goes so goes such a long way. Especially against both on there, as you see. We're not doing bad with the Cursula, though. The Cursula is working for us, so I'll take it. All right, guys, let's get into another game here. We're up against, it looks like, a potential, um, another Lightning deck. This also could just be another Zacian deck, which I'm kind of already getting tired of playing against, but we'll see if it is going to be that. Um, and hopefully we don't Brick again. That's what I'm scared of here is just Bricking, because Hitmonchan doesn't like me, and it always makes me Brick, so. Yeah, let's not Brick again. Okay, we got a supporter, which is not a brick. We got the wrong him on chance start, though, but we can still do coordinated beatdown, I guess. Uh, but the one thing I like about this is it can knock out Jirachi a lot easier. They're playing Dragapult, though. Ooh. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, so... This is kind of tough, but maybe not the end of the world. All right, let's get this Corsola. The only way I can see us winning this is through... Um... I guess we have, like, Gumi to slow them down. I don't know. I don't know. This is a hard game to win, but... Our Cursula, once again, could be how we win the game. We just take out two of these things and we win. But we'll see if they can knock me on Cursula's out. We have 80 HP, which is actually really good that we have 80 HP. That's a lot of HP to have against Dragapult when they can spam all these damage counter stuff. So that's a good sign. Our way to win is just rely on Cursula. Ooh, looks like they're going to Horror House me. Which I'm fine with. Hey, boss order gone. That's you like to see it. Oh, that's the other thing too. They have boss's order. They have Mewtwo boss's order. Oh, oh, they're playing a Malamar deck. Oh, okay. Maybe they don't play that Mewtwo then. That's actually really good. I thought this was gonna be like Dragapult, Zigzagoon, Scoop Up Net spam, but it looks like they might not have that Mewtwo Scoop Up Net option. That's actually good. I was worried about that for a sec. I saw the boss order get a scar. I'm like, yay! But then I'm like, oh wait, they just have Mewtwo, so not yay. All right, let's see if they go for Horror House here. Uh, they're down to Malamar. They have no energy. They are going to go to Horror House. All right, what do we draw? The wrong Hitmonchan. So we get knocked out here. We need to find a switch, which is kind of annoying. We're doing no damage to them either, so there's no even reason to attack them. Oh, we're not getting knocked out. We have 120 HP. Yo, that is lit. I forgot. I, this guy doesn't have... This, 120 HP is good. Oh, there's a Marnie, though. There goes our good hand. Hopefully, we don't get a bad hand here. We do not. We actually get two good cards. You'll love to see it. 
If anything, this hand is better than that last hand because we have the curse to let it go with it. Uh, this is kind of scary though. That, yeah, never mind. They're not going to attack me with this. All right, we just take our three prizes through Cursler or six prizes through Cursler. We'll see if they get there. Ooh, quick ball. I never mind. They have to Dene. I was like, do they have to Dene? But of course they do. Uh, of course they do. Uh, they could get their Bilcephalon turn two if I'm not careful. Their scoop up net for Giratina. So maybe they do play the Mewtwo and pull their guys for 200 damage. Wait, they are knocking me out. What am I saying? Even if I had the two, forgot we reeked to Psychic for a sec. I don't know. My brain farted. All right, let's see. What we draw. Lana's Rod. Don't really think I need to play that. We'll just go for Cynthia here. Okay. There's the Air Balloon. We got another Corsella, which is good. The more the merrier. Might as well just do this. We might as well attack them. Maybe there's no point of attacking them because we can never knock them out. Going to the Corsella. Take our 40 damage. Yeah, actually, maybe we shouldn't have because then we get knocked out by Max Phantom. But we have to we have to attack them. We could just wall with Curslo. Alright, let's see if they have a boss's order. I'm actually kind of scared of them dropping the Mewtwo, but they don't have a Oranguru or any way to get the boss's order right away other than the Jirachi, so there's a chance they don't get it here. Do they have it? They still have energy in the discard, right? Yeah, they don't. I, I like Whorehouse Energy and Malamar, but like because it doesn't work with Malamar's ability, Whorehouse Energy is actually not as consistent as you might think. It kind of hurts the consistency of Malamar, is what I'm trying to get at. And they had their boss order. They didn't even need the second one. It was just in their hand. Oh, but well they're going to go with the Dragapult. Okay. I thought they were going to do something else there, but I guess not. Can we top deck here? Tool Scrapper? I mean, that's good. We'll get rid of the Escape Board and the Spell Tag. Alright, at this point, I'm just looking for more Cursless. There we go. We can attack with Hitmonchan here for th is what 10 damage? Yeah, it's not even up. There's no point. We'll just stay in the active spot and pray they don't have another boss's order. That should be their last one unless they have that Mewtwo combo. So we'll see. But best case scenario, guys, we just get the heads. We knock them out. And at that point, we can start to do that Hitmonchan. I mean, we could technically knock out Malamar and Jirachi through him on top and Hitmonchan. Maybe we should just do that instead. They can also attack me with Giratina here, actually, and counter my Cursalus 2. That's a problem. But they only have one Malamar in place, so the Giratina barely can even attack me. They're gonna net the Giratina to- Oh, they're gonna knock out this Cursula! No, my Corsula, it's gone! We're gonna lose a Corsula here. They've already taken four prizes. Yikes. Big yikes. Dang it, bro. They're gonna knock out my Corsola. How could you? Yeah, it's gonna shred me. Okay, so we can evolve that still. I think we have to mention him on Chan. Uh, just to attack. Just the Giratina might be a threat. Now we get a dojo. We get another uh Cursula here, which is really good. And we have a calm, we should actually save that next turn for Hitmon Lee to knock out the Malamar or the Jirachi. Let's just keep bringing this guy in. All right, that was a good curse let to get because we're saving ourselves from getting KO'd here by Max Phantom. All right, please don't have another boss's order. There's no way they have that many, though. They're doing a good job putting their Giratina in their discard pile, though. But yeah, no Mewtwo, so it looks like they don't have that Mewtwo combo. Cause I'm assuming they would have grabbed it there. They could potentially scoop up Net and then bench an Eldegoss to get that enter. If they get the boss's order, we're going to down quite a bit. This is going to be bad if they have a... Another net? Oh, yo, how many nets does this guy have, bro? What? I mean, I know you can play four, but this guy seems to be playing all his nets at once. Just, they're in his hand. The good news is he doesn't have any nets for his Jirachi, which could be decent if we ever need to knock that thing out with him on top or something. Who knows? He's not psychic recharging to Tina, which is good. It's really good that he's not doing that. Because Tina's like the thing that can counter us the most, I think. All right. This is the turn where he can attack me, but this is also going to be the turn where potentially he gets knocked out. Oh, he's going to Marnie me? Okay. Rip our hand. That's not a boss order, though. Oh, he can Tina knock out this Curse actually. So, yeah, he can take two prizes here, I just realized. Rip. And we kind of bricked. We bricked. No support. How many supports have we played? Okay, actually quite a few, but uh, the bricking, you don't like it. We can get Eldegoss, I guess, but I don't know if I want to get that anymore. No, they bench a Mew. So, there goes our route to doing that. They're actually not even going to attack me. Which is interesting. 
We're just gonna swing with hit and run then, I guess. Oh, they get attacking with Mew though, which is kind of annoying. We're just gonna keep putting this guy in the active, I guess. We have three curse cells in play. We're chilling. They have 11 cards left too. If they don't attack me, maybe we just win by deck out Kappa. I doubt it. I doubt it. We're getting the damage on. At this point, this thing's gonna go down to Hitmonchan. Eh, maybe. Maybe. All right, let's see what they do here. I mean, the fact that they benched the Mew means they don't have that Max Phantom available with the Giratina to knock out two Curseless here. Because then if I get Tails, we're just going to be in a really bad spot. Um, so I'm actually glad they didn't just knock me out here. Because, yeah, if they took out the two Curseless and I got Tails on my coin flip, that would have been just really, really bad for us. Especially with that Marnie, the way they just dropped my hand, I wouldn't be able to get another Curseless down. They're going to switch into the Gengar, really? And they're going to pull their guys. Alright, come on, let's get heads. Let's do it. Come on, heads, heads, heads. Let's go! We got it! Nice! We get two prizes here. There's a supporter. Three prizes, sorry. There's another supporter. Another supporter. We can actually boss order to knock out the Jirachi here, maybe. <laughs> Alright, apologies for the sneeze, guys. They're actually going to promote their guy. Alright. This is good. We're going to dump an energy. We're going to get another Cursula. We actually could get Gumi too, but the Gumi is just not a good idea to put that down anymore. We could do a Lana's Rod here. Get back, yeah, let's play this. Let's do Lana's Rod. Get back a Corsula. No, get back a Cursula and an Air Balloon. Try to evolve this guy soon. We can do Boss's Order. We're not gonna take a knockout though, actually. Right, we're not dead behind in prizes. So I think we just swing. Swing and pray. We'll give him this Cursula here because this can net him two prizes if this thing gets tina would How many sports has he played? Alright, just still all that. He could still get an Eligaz down here and, and knock my guy out and get around my Cursula, but we're not doing bad on the heads, and this thing's already heavily damaged, so if it ever comes to a point where we can knock this out, we can knock it out with Boss Order. Actually, I should maybe build up for Magnum Punch, to be fair. If I build up for Magnum Punch, maybe I can knock this out. Oh, there's Blacephalon. I forgot he has a Blacephalon turn. He has no energy in the discard, does he? Oh, he has one. Never mind. And... Yep, Parish Body doesn't work against Blacephalon. <laughs> that is bad. That is really bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. I guess we go behind in prize, though. We can hit Monchan, knock out the Mew. Nope, there's the Blacephalon. Damn, we're getting close. We can knock out the Dedenne, actually, at some point, too. No, he bumps the Dojo! Rip. Okay, he has a recent. Ooh, and a Malana gets discarded. That's a good discard to see. And he stands me to three. Well, we did get a few supports of the prizes here, but we didn't get one off the prizes. So I have to go, I have to go Eldegoss here, it looks like. He has four cards left, so... And he's played a Malana and won a skateboard. He's out of nets. That's a good sign. I don't think he plays Kaelin Synth to get back, but he's played two switches. Maybe we could trap Malamar. Yeah, this Blacephalon is really annoying. Oh my god. It can counter me so hard. He can't knock out two Curseless though, which is good. But, yeah. It just completely counteracts Parish Body. That is so sad. So we need to get a prize this turn so this thing can go away. But he can just set up two knockouts on these. I don't even think... I don't know. This is not good. We're coming so close to winning this, but this baby Blacephalon, bro. It's so bad. If only this ability worked against damage counterattacks. Like, bro, why doesn't it do that? He actually knocks out the bench curse love, which is your I guess it's fine because he knows I can't move. Alright, good draw. Elagos, come to the rescue. How much energy has he played? Two horrors. No, he definitely has a few energy left in the deck. Hmm. If this Mew was not in play, we could knock out a Malamar or Jirachi on the bench with him on Lee. And then we would avoid Fireworks Bomb. This thing's resistant too. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. I don't think I can win this. I think this game is at least, at this point, impossible for us to win. 
There's a him on lane. A little too late though, buddy. Yeah, we lose. We do 40 damage. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one, guys. It looks like we are going to lose here. Bocephalon is a thing, but we did get heads on the Cursor there, and we came close to beating a matchup that I don't really think is even winnable to begin with, but we did come kind of close to winning, so I'll take it. Anyway, so I'll that speech of you guys on the Galarian Cursula Hitmonchan deck. If you guys want to see more Cursula action, let me know, and I am down to do more videos on this card. There's a few more ways you can play it. You can play it by itself, or you could play it with more Peko, maybe, or Sazbuck. There's a few good options for this card in the future, so... If you want to see more videos on this Cursula, let me know and I can do another one eventually at some point. There are some cool ideas with that card. But yeah, this is going to be the Hitmonchan video. Um, after making this, I would like to play more supporters. So I am not bricking so much. I think we can actually cut out a boss's order. I don't think we need two. I think we can go down to one boss's order and then throw in another draw supporter. Maybe like a Marnie or something. I don't know. Other than that, I think the deck played pretty well. Maybe we don't need 10 energy too. We can probably cut an energy from the deck. Go down to nine. There's definitely some changes I can see being made. But overall... I mean, the deck was working for us fine. We got the Cursula heads. We got the knockouts, so we'll take it. But that'll wrap up the video, guys, on the Cursula Hitmonchan deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you want to help me reach 9,000 subs or 8,200 subscribers. Um, one thing, guys, for all the growth on the channel with Rebel Clash content. As always, guys, make sure to check out our sponsor, Carcam and TCG down below, too. Use code LDF at the checkout. Uh, follow me on Twitter down below, too, if you guys want to stay up to date with my tweets. I do tweet out decklists early. I'm um, just saying.